you can now split a single video track into multiple video and audio tracks for further editing. Another great feature of the new Filmora 13 is AI Vocal Remover. Let's see how it works and let's see what you can do with it. I'm John and this is Fun with Filmora. Lights, camera, action! Let's have some fun. I've got a piece of footage here that I created and what I'm going to do is just trim down to 10 seconds instead of doing all of the video. Let me just chop that there and delete the last part. And I'll just make that the full width of the timeline. To use this AI Vocal Remover, you simply right click on the clip and go to AI Vocal Remover and let it work its magic. It will take some time depending on the size of your clip. And what it will do will split that clip into video, audio and voiceover tracks. So like I said, it will take a minute or two. So I'll speed this up and get back to you in a second. So that 10 second clip took maybe 30 seconds to split up into these tracks here. And what it's done is kept the main track with the voice on. It's now produced another track with the voice on and a track with the background music on. So let me just hide the top track with the video and we can listen to the other two tracks. An 1817 dwelling house in Red River, Tennessee has been the... So it's the voiceover and the background music. Now the background music is quite low at the moment. But the beauty about being able to split it down is that we can now increase the volume on that track alone by clicking and dragging the volume line. And I will lower down the voice. And now let's play it. An 1817 dwelling house in Red River, Tennessee has been the site of many unexplained phenomena. So it lets you edit the two tracks individually. Now if you want to keep the video track as well, that still has the full voice on it. What we can do is right click on the track then go to detach audio and that will split the audio away completely which is this one here so we don't need that now because we now have the video the voiceover and the background music all on separate tracks so like i said you can play them individually so let's play it without the music an 1817 dwelling house in red river Ten and let's play the background music on its own Now you'll notice there is a little bit of a glitch in there and that's where the voice is actually coming in. It's not perfect at the moment, it's still early days, but it is still brilliant. So basically split your track up into three tracks if there is a voiceover and music. If there's just music, it'll just split it into two tracks, the video and the music. And also it could just split it down into video and a voiceover if there's no music. But it's a great feature and I can see this being helpful in a lot of ways. Have a play around with it yourself and let me know how you get on in the comments below, please. And as always, thank you very much for watching. Now go have some fun.